what's up everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel it's tony aka natural boss this video is not going to be a product review um i'm going to talk a little bit about that a little later on i just kind of wanted to give you guys an update on my hair and on my channel and just kind of talk about some other things so basically if you have if you are a subscriber if you've been watching my any of my videos you can kind of tell that i'm a product junkie and that's why i like to post product reviews i've been a product junkie for years even before i went natural like over 10 years ago i was a product junkie even when i was relaxed i don't know why i love it it's just like a hobby of mine it's just something that i'm interested in i'm always looking for good products <laughs> um, however um being a product junkie has done several negative things for me and that number one is it's helped to contribute to the I don't know you say it the friedness the raggediness or whatever of my hair i don't want to blame youtube i'm blaming how i handle my youtube videos and my posting and everything so um, i prior to me starting this youtube channel i had products that just are my holy grails that i use the majority of the time and they work and they work very well for my hair um however when i started doing this youtube thing and started doing it more regularly um i just I'm using what I end up doing is using a whole bunch of products that aren't that great and just kind of wasting my time and wasting my money in order just to post a product review and so it hasn't been that fun it's more becoming like a job and a job that I'm not you know I'm, I'm a small youtuber I don't make that I make some money but I don't make that much money off these videos so it's kind of like not even worth it and I've been wasting like literally a ton of money thankfully um, the products that I hate other people love and so I can give them away to people, you know Instead of just throwing them in the trash I can give them away to people who are less fortunate or whatever or just want to try something um, You know, whatever. It's also just becoming a burden on my hair as well um, Sometimes in order for me to get at least two videos out a week I'm having to do my hair two times a week and I normally don't do that and That's never been my routine. That's never worked for me I'm the type of person that like to wash my hair once a week and that's it um that's really not possible for me and and on top of that um that might be something that's easy for people who have really short hair like a little twa or something like that but for somebody whose hair is like down their back and it's thick fine. but just somebody who has a lot of hair like me um that's just something that's just not really <laughs> feasible not for me anyway i don't feel like spending that much time on it and so um the other thing is my hair my hair was in bad enough shape as it is my hair has color upon color upon color and it's just really fried and it's a lot probably in a lot worse shape than what you all can probably tell and so i'm trying to get it back healthy but it's becoming hard with the with doing my hair several times per week and using products that don't even work another thing is i'm just sitting here repeatedly bashing brands and in particular bashing black brands and um i don't i have never had a problem with telling the truth on my channel it's my channel and i can say whatever i want but it just gets like i get kind of tired of just talking negatively all the time and really lately i've i have to say i probably only like like 25 percent of the products that i've actually did a video on and so it's just like why get on here if i'm just going to be saying negative things all the time i don't care about telling the truth but i know i'm walking into it that i'm probably not going to even like something um, I'm, just, I'm really picky with products for my hair. It's like, why even bother? There's actually plenty of products that I like and actually that I love. I, some I've done reviews on, some I haven't done reviews on because I've just been using for such a long time. And I'm kind of going to just stick with those for a while. Um, I'll still do product reviews. I still get curl boxes, whatever, although the last several times I haven't even posted a video on it because the products haven't been worth making a video on to me. See what I mean? Um, but... I, um, I'm just not going to do it as much. I'm probably going to focus more on styles and just hair tips and then talking about whatever else I want to talk about. I'll continue to do the product reviews, but it just won't be near as frequently as I have been doing in the past. The whole um, doing the product reviews is actually, not only is it burdensome, it's actually boring to me. I, I personally don't watch a whole lot of videos on product reviews. And the reason is because I don't really care what someone else has to say. Um, only thing I probably would be interested in knowing is how a product smells and that's because since I don't go out and buy my products anymore in an actual store I have no idea how it, how it smells so I do read a lot of reviews and I will kind of watch YouTube reviews for that however I don't really listen to it because 
um, literally like say the Flawless by Gra Gabrielle Union products that I totally despise. Um, the products were loud smelling to me. I mean it's horrible. It smelled up my whole house. I mean it's just loud and it lingered. I watched someone else, a very actually popular YouTuber's video and she said the products had a light smell. So what, even on that, I can't really go by what somebody else says. So I'm still kind of just taking a chance on that. But other than that, I don't really watch a whole bunch of product reviews because I just don't care what anybody else thinks because what most time what people love, I hate. And what I love, other people hate. So it just doesn't work for me. I also don't watch videos where people are just ranting and um, talking negative about products like all the time. It's okay, like for me, I'm, I'm being honest. It's okay sometimes, but if you're just trying to trash talk on products just to try to get views and stuff that's not even funny to, or entertaining to me so I don't really watch those so it's like I don't want to sit here doing that myself I, if I can't stand to watch my own video why would you know why would I even make it the other thing is um like as far as the product reviews that I do since I most of the time wear my hair in a twist out that's pretty much all you're going to get from me on a product review I'm testing out products on a twist out I do occasional wash and go videos but other than that it's just twist out after twist out and I can only do a twist out I mean so many times how many different variations and I don't watch videos where people do twist outs either because I've been seeing twist out videos for the last 10 to 12 years and it's just not even interesting to me anymore I know how to twist hair and I don't need to see anybody else do it so I'm not gonna I don't want to keep producing videos like that now I'm not sitting here saying that I'll never do another twist out in a video that's not true but I'm just not gonna be doing that as frequently the other thing I see a lot and whatever people want to do on their channel is fine I they probably have way more subscribers and views than I do but people just making wash and go video after wash and go video and they're mixing two products together I don't even care about that that's not even interesting and people will post a video um, wet line gel do I still like it I don't personally care if somebody else still likes a product or not so I don't want to make videos like that as well so it's really like getting old to me I'm serious I don't even want to sit here and watch my own videos it's kind of crazy so as far as natural hair and just really just hair in general um, yes I will continue to make um, natural hair videos I am still interested in it it just won't be as frequent um, you'll probably be seeing me trying out more different styles and doing more demos like that um, probably trying out more tools or something like that and probably just giving more hair tips and advice because um, that's another reason why I kind of started the channel because I get asked a lot of questions so I was like why don't I just put it out here publicly and people can just watch or whatever so that's probably um, more of what you'll see uh, it'll definitely be less product reviews though um, the other thing is it's just things about I don't know the natural hair community that I don't particularly care for um, <laughs> What people gotta understand is your hair is your own hair and you can do whatever you want with it and that's the way I feel about mine. I know I just literally in the first part of this video told you guys my hair is fried because I've dyed it so much. Well I'm not necessarily gonna stop dyeing it but um, people like a natural community they get so deep into all that you gotta do this, you can't do that, you can't straighten your hair. I'm gonna straighten my hair and I'm probably gonna have a video coming out real soon showing me straightening my hair. Um, that's like my prerogative and that's anybody else if you want to straighten your hair fine but it's like people want to just go in on you because you want to do something different I don't um, I normally can grow my hair back pretty fast so do I want damaged hair no am I trying to make it healthy right now yes but if I decide that I want to dye my hair again a different color or if I want to straighten my hair you know several times a year or whatever that's what I'm gonna do and so I just don't want to get that deep into all that natural hair community stuff where you can't do this and you can't do that and which kind of brings me to something else um, as far as the hair typing I don't get that deep and all in my feelings over hair typing I do use the term type 4 that's what my hair is now I think it's a problem when you have a certain type of hair and you're wanting to be something else or you're envying somebody else over their hair type but if you just if there's um if a wave is a type two and a slight curl or whatever is a type three and a more of a coil is a type four or whatever then so be it somebody made a freaking chart over it i mean it's not that big of a deal to me it doesn't mean i'm not woke just because i say i have type four hair um i've gotten comments where people have gotten all bent out out of shape over the hair typing both ways it's like i'm kind of just tired of hearing about it really um, if you want to label your hair as a type, I mean, that's okay. And if you don't want to do it, that's fine too. But don't try to come at me just because I say my hair is type 4. It's type 4, it's kinky curly. You can refer to it as whatever you want, and I'll refer to my own hair how I want to. The other thing that I wanted to talk about, it's not, I won't say this is why I'm not going to do as many product review videos anymore, but it's just like 
I don't know some of the, some of the comments are just like super annoying and I'm a very small youtuber and I can't even imagine what the larger youtubers do or they probably just don't even read their comments um, I'm not the type I'm I'm pretty unbothered by most things and I won't I definitely don't lose any sleep over any comment that's made on my YouTube video um, but it's just like sometimes I'm just reading some of the comments I'm like why don't you just shut up um, I get people who I know they're probably bald headed or something and they're trying to tell me how to do my hair um, I get people saying they don't respect my reviews just because I decide to not go further on my own video with a product that I already know doesn't work that I already can't stand the smell um, I say the sa I repeat the same things over and over again like I I've said in every video since March I don't go inside stores I am in a stay-at-home order I don't go anywhere so if somebody asked me <laughs> on my product review or so somebody commented and said why don't you just smell the product you know I'm already talking about smells and whatever and somebody's like why don't you just smell the products before you buy them well how I can't smell through a computer screen I can't smell through my phone so that's why it's just like little comments like that I just want to be like why don't you just shut up or why stop and even comment when you know to say something negative I've seen a whole bunch of videos that I thought were trash I've seen a whole bunch of videos where I felt the person was being fake. I've seen a whole bunch of videos where somebody styled their hair and I thought it was ugly. But did I stop and pause or after the video was over, did I watch the whole thing and then make a comment? Did I stop in the middle and make a negative comment? No, I didn't. If I don't if I don't like a video that I'm watching, which is quite a few of them, I'll just click off and go on to the next one. It's not that deep and it's not that big of a deal. It's not like I'm paying money to watch videos and none of you all are paying money to watch mine. So it's like, um, I feel if you don't have anything nice to say, just keep your comments to yourself and just move on. However, there's some people that are petty and some people that don't have a life and some people who don't have anything better to do. And so they decide they want to get on a small YouTuber who's trying to come up channel <laughs> and make some negative comments. Well, number one, if you notice, I will go toe to toe with you. I'm not going to back down if I just I don't have nothing else to do at that moment and I'm just feeling kind of, you know, petty or whatever I can be just as petty as you either I'll move on or ignore it or I'll delete it if it's actually disrespectful I will say I've only really been disrespected once maybe twice um and this was like over a year ago or something like that but other than that I really haven't been disrespected on my channel just people saying dumb stuff that I really don't care about so um <laughs> That's just something that comes with being like a natural hair YouTuber or any kind of YouTuber or whatever. So you that's guys. just that. So yeah, I just want to give you guys a little update on my channel and what my thoughts are on my hair and what my hair is doing and what I'm going to do with my hair and everything. And if you've subscribed to my channel because you want to see hair, hair videos, I'm not going to stop completely making hair videos. Nothing like that. But I'm just saying I'm not doing the product reviews as frequently. Also, there's some styles that you want to see me demo. Go ahead and comment and let me know what those are and I will try my best to um, get that set up and post it. Also, I just wanna use this channel as a platform to talk about whatever topics I wanna talk about. And if, you, if there's something you guys wanna discuss or something you wanna ask me, just let me know and maybe we can get that going as well. Yeah, so, that, so that's just pretty much it. Um, I'm hoping I'm not gonna lose any subscribers over this. I'm hoping you guys are also tired of seeing me do, doing product review after product review and most of the time despising the products. I mean, that's, come on you guys, that's boring. So um, just let me just let me know um, any other ideas or anything you want to see me post a video about. Um, it can it can be definitely natural hair related or it can be something else. So anyway, that's my update. That's what I had to talk about today. Um, like I said, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. If you like this video, thumbs up, comment, and let me know what videos you guys want to see me do in the near future. And I will see you in the next video.